Hey everyone, uh, my name is Matt Brooks, I use he and pronouns, and I'm actually with uh, an organization called Tech Equity Collaborative. Um, TenantProtectors.org is the uh, program that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, we are a nonprofit uh, that addresses um, inequities within the tech industry and also uh, created by the tech economy. Um, and I run a program, uh, a civic tech program, so um, within the, we, you know, we do advocacy, uh, we do uh, member organizing, and we do um, education. And I run a civic tech program within uh, Tech Equity where I work with volunteers to develop web apps, uh, visualizations, other tools that uh, work with the initiatives that we're, that we're working on. Um, so specifically talking about tenantprotections.org today, this is a web app um, that is uh, helping California renters navigate the landscape of local and statewide laws and figure out what they're eligible for, whether their um, landlord may have raised their rent uh, illegally. Um, so a little bit, bit of background on rent control in California. Um, the Tenant Protection Act was passed in 2019 and that extended a, a cap to people who qualify um, statewide um, and Based on estimates, we think that that extended some form of rent cap to approximately 8 million people in California. We've got 40 million people in the state, about 45% of us are renters. Um, so that's a lot of people um, that, that then got covered by rent control. There's also, going back much further, there's about 25 municipalities in California that have a local ordinance. Um, typically, the way it works is the local ordinance will cover fewer people and have a lower cap on the uh, maximum amount that landlords can raise that rent. While the statewide ordinance is kind of a wider net, like I said, uh, extended to 8 million people who weren't previously covered, um, but that cap's a lot higher on the statewide. And one thing we see is with those local ordinances is they're very specific. Um, so, you know, those eligibility requirements are different in every municipality. Um, it's often very confusing whether you're covered or not. Um, and, you know, different municipalities have different levels of uh, uh, kind of clarity in how they document and present that information on their city website or whatever. Um, it can be really hard to tell or, or to know just by Googling it, uh, depending where you live, whether you're covered or not. So we built this app to um, help people figure that out. Um, so very simple web app that we built here. Uh, we've, got a, we've got an eligibility quiz. We've got a rent calculator, and then we've got just some links to resources. And what we were really prioritizing when we were designing this was that it would be fast, simple, lightweight, easy to use. We really want to uh, make this as accessible as possible, knowing that you know renters come all all up and down the kind of socioeconomic spectrum. And uh, we wanted to really hide some of these complex uh, eligibility requirements from the, from the users. And then all, everything that is developed with my volunteer team is open source. And we try to make stuff as maintainable as possible. So we built a, built a really simple app here. And I'm going to show a couple of screenshots. Uh, I don't, I think the screenshots didn't come through too well here, but um, just to get an idea of what the app looks like, you've got your landing page. Um, I was trying to give you a, give you a sense of um, uh, some, some of the questions we asked. When was your uh, building built? Um, what type of building do you live in? Um, and you know, it just asks you a, a few questions and tries to then distill kind of all that stuff into, into that, uh, quiz and then tell you what it thinks you're eligible for. So whether that's statewide or, or local, and then we've got also the, um, and then, and the rent calculator, again, it's a very simple thing where you just, you can enter your current rent, your, your last rent increase, and it'll tell you, um, whether it thinks that, uh, you are eligible or not for, or whether that, that rent increase was legal or illegal. Um, just want to real quick talk about some of the challenges here. Uh, you know, I think uh, research was actually, uh, we really underestimated the research lift on this. And so we worked with an organization called ACE, the Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment, to do that research and kind of take all those laws and turn them into a matrix that we could then spit out into just a, a file that we could run, you know, run those checks against. and and. The other thing I'll say about it is that, uh, you know, we, we ended up with a really simple app here, but I think um, you can't really underestimate uh, how navigating some of the 
uh, eligibility and bureaucracy, um, just how a little bit of help for folks can actually go a really long way. And so we've had really, really good um, kind of feedback on, on this app that, it, that it, uh, it's really helped folks um, understand, understand the loss. So 